Hello, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's, in today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to actually see your output in Visual Studio Code. So guys, there is multiple ways in seeing your output in Visual Studio Code. It depends in which language you are using. For example, HTML, there is this extension that makes you see your website, which is a uh, live server. And in in Python, for example, in JSON, there is this debug function and CSS as well. And there is like the live server as well, with like HTML and so on. So how we can actually see the output? First of all, we'll start with the basics. So how we can get Visual Studio Code first? Basically, all you need to do is open your browser. And from there, guys, go and search in the URL section for Visual Studio Code and click on code.visualstudio.com. And guys, if let me just show you real quick a note real quick so images here you will notice that there is two logos similar to each other and basically these two software have literally the same name but this one the blue one has one other word one extra word so this one is called visual studio and this one is visual studio code so in our tutorials guys we are only using visual tutorial visual uh, studio code so the blue logo so after you open this website make sure that it is on the blue logo and then click on download for windows if you are using windows or if for, for example you are using mac os download mac os from here linux from here as well so after that you only need to install it and you will be ready to go now after we are done with that how we can actually see the output of our software so it is pretty much simple all we need to do for example in case of my python so all you need to do is first go to your microsoft and download python 3.10 which is really necessary for you to see your output so after you've done with this step you only need to go to debug from here run and debug choose python file and you will notice that it will print for you hello world as i say here so hello world and for HTML, you can just go to extensions and search for live server and you will find this one so I start it and run it with your HTML code so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a like and thank you for watching